Namaste from Deepesh. Today we are entering the final volume, volume 5 of my YouTube series, Power of Low Code Logic. We are going to learn how to update fields from adaptive cards, response on Microsoft Teams directly back into Dataverse, into what we are going to try as a scenario with opportunities. I am Deepesh Somani. Pause is 65 as usual, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel and let's continue our learning. So let us quickly get into the scenario. Here I have created a lead. This lead is interested in product A and uh, first name is Dipesh, last name Samani. I have pre-populated it. What we are going to do is we are going to qualify this. That is going to set and trigger a set of Power Automates where we are going to utilize adaptive cards and see the beauty of adaptive cards using Power Automate. Okay, so I'm going to click qualify over here real quick. And that's going to basically qualify this lead. It's going to ask a bunch of uh, requirement matches. I did have a contact with that means I am just going to say ignore and save. And that's that guys, it's going to qualify and let's see what happened on teams for this particular lead. So now our opportunity is created here. I'm quickly going to move over to teams where on a particular channel, something should have been posted, right? Let's quickly go and see that. Meanwhile, we can see that estimated revenue account closed it all are empty at the moment. So here in this particular example on the channel, demo channel, you see that this particular lead is qualified and auto posting has been done. This is an adaptive card and this is an adapt editable adaptive card. What is the estimated budget you want to put in? So let's say the estimated budget is 100K and then I'm just going to hit submit, right? Now we are getting a thanks response here. This is also done by the posting. Let's quickly go back to the opportunity and see what happened over there. I am going to refresh this particular opportunity. So I will just go to the three dots and click refresh and wait for the revenue field to kick in. So if you see the budget amount here, not the revenue actually has been updated to 100K. So that is the scenario. Adaptive cards are quite useful in this kind of scenario where we want to trigger something and then update a bunch of values and then use some channel like Teams. There are other ways as well where adaptive cards can be embedded and then back update things or do certain actions. Let's quickly see how this one was built. So here is the flow that got triggered as a result of that particular scenario. Whenever an opportunity is getting added, that is our trigger condition. We are triggering this particular flow. We are using the action post adaptive card and wait for a response. Now you will see a schema over here. So we are pasting a particular schema where I'm adding topic dynamically. If you can see in name, I'm adding the topic which is coming in. And then <clears throat> I'm using input text box where I'm giving the ID estimated budget. I will talk about where we can design this adaptive cards, right? Then we are doing a compose on this particular input. And based on the composed input, we are going and updating the opportunity to the budget uh, amount with the output of that compose, right? And in that one, what we are doing is we are taking the output estimated budget, right? That was the ID we had shared in the creation of the adaptive card. So, that is how this one can be achieved. Now let's talk about how do we go and create those, right? So there's a site from Microsoft AdaptiveCards.io. Uh, let me just quickly correct this uh, screen over here real quick. AdaptiveCards.io. You can use this particular uh, site, AdaptiveCards.io, to get really good samples from Microsoft. Here are some examples of the samples and templates that are available. And this JSON we need to take and utilize in our Power Automate. So let me take an example of expense report scenario, for example. So how the card will look like, how the JSON is, right? So there are tons of examples here from where you can, you know, pick the ones which are most relevant to you and then utilize in your own projects, right? Thank you for tuning in. Do subscribe to my channel, Pause365 as usual, and we'll meet in another series real soon.